Hey guys, Cody here, Sabington Pro Outdoor. We've got the Ninja 400 right here next to the Ninja ZX4RR. Today, we're gonna be doing a comparison between the two bikes. They may look similar, they may sound similar, the names anyways, but they're not. They're not similar. I'm gonna tell you exactly why. After the ad break, no, I'm kidding. That was stupid. So the biggest difference here between the ZX4RR and the Ninja 400 is gonna be part of the machine, part that everybody loves, the engine. So on this Ninja 400, you've got a parallel twin, that means two cylinders, making 45 horse and 28 foot-pounds of torque in the Ninja 400. Jump over here to the ZX4RR. You now have a four-cylinder, four, that's double from that one makes 76 horsepower and 26 and a half foot pounds of torque. So you're losing that little bit of torque there, but you're gaining a, a bunch of horsepower and it's all gonna be, most of it is gonna be in the top end. That is really the only drawback of these 400s is if you want all the power that's available, you've gotta be, for the most part, over 10,000 RPMs, but that is okay. It's very easy to reach 10,000 RPMs in this. So aside from the engine, another big difference between these two is the ergonomics. So over here on the Ninja 400, swing a leg over it. So I'm sat a little bit more into the bike. So I'm, I'm kind of directly behind the tank almost. Um, very bent kneed, you put this leg up, it's pretty, you know, pretty tame and I'm sat straight up. I'm gonna put my other leg up because that's how I feel most comfortable. But you know, I'm sat pretty straight up here it's a very thin, very narrow bike, um, which makes it very light, very flickable. And I will say, I believe the ZX4 is about roughly, don't quote me on this, but about 50 pounds heavier from the Ninja 400. But stepping over this way, right, onto the ZX4 RR. So, thanks Colin. Sorry about that. Anyways, riding position here is quite a bit more pitched forward. You kind of feel like you're a little bit over the tank rather than directly behind it. Your uh, leg is quite a bit more bent, especially when you're flat footing it. You feel like you got a little bit more room because the seat height is a little bit higher. And unless it's just me and it just feels that way. Could totally be. Um, so this is a much more, I won't say much more, but it is a more aggressive riding style than on the 400. So if you're into that sort of thing, this is gonna be great for you. Moving on, another difference here between these two is the electronics and available funsy bits. So on this, the only thing you have available is ABS, which is optional, and assist and slipper clutch, with all of them, which all of them come with. Here on the ZX4RR, of course, you still got the assist and slipper clutch, you got ABS. Not only that, but you've got four rider modes where if you watched our ZX4RR in-depth video, you would have seen. You've got Kawasaki traction control system. You got a, an up and down quick shifter. Um, I'm sure there's something I'm missing, but anyway, it's a whole slew of new stuff that was not previously available on the Ninja 400. All right, a big one. ZX4RR. All right, is that your system now? All right, silent. All right, a big one, ZX4RR has better suspension and better brakes. So it's got adjustable show of forks and shock and dual front disc brakes. While the Ninja 400 has non-adjustable telescopic forks, mono shock in the rear, and a single disc brake at both ends. Perhaps the biggest difference between these two bikes is gonna be the price of them. So this Ninja 400 over yonder starts out at $52.99. Now the MSRP of the Ninja ZX4 RR 96.99. It may seem like a lot, it's $4,400 difference, but you get so much more out of this bike than you do not get. This bike is pretty bare bones, aside from, like I said, the ABS and the assistant slipper clutch. With the rider modes and the traction control, up and down quick shifter, all that good fun stuff, I'd say it's well worth the money, maybe a little bit biased. Who knows? If you're coming from our ZX4R video, it looks like I'm wearing the same clothes, it's because I am. We shot this video 15 minutes after that.
just in case you were wondering. I want you to leave that in. Somebody's gonna notice it, because I notice like that. If you guys wanna see our video on the Ninja 400, so this motorcycle here, click just above this motorcycle here. You guys wanna check out the review of the ZX4RR that we just did. Also, click here. You can give me a call at Sappington Pro Outdoor, 573-243-1975. Ask for Cody, that's me, because I'm your favorite. Also, we deliver nationwide. We also have a lifetime powertrain warranty on every single one of these motorcycles.